Hi guys, wow that was really shaky. Um, hi guys, it's been a hot minute since I've done a review because there's nothing really out that I care to review. Um, but that has changed because now I'm going to do a very quick uh, take on Godzilla vs. Kong. Um, I've been waiting for this movie for a second, so when HBO and Warner Brothers did their little thing uh, to put movies onto HBO Max, I got very excited. And this is one of my highlights of the year. Um, so, I mean, I guess let's dive into it. There's no plot, so I'm just going to say Godzilla and Kong, um, just fight. I watched the Godzilla King of Monsters movie a month or two ago. Very boring, overlong, was not super into it. There was one shot that made me laugh really hard, but overall it took itself too seriously for being a, a monster movie. Um, the first Godzilla movie in 2013, the reboot of it, is okay. Uh, I'm here for King Kong. I'm gonna be real honest. Kong Skull Island was great. So, I'm here for King Kong. Godzilla is very boring to me. I don't care about big dinosaur lizard with radioactive powers. I'm here for Big Monkey, who is very sensitive, just wants to go home, and just be chillin'. So, I mean, I guess, as far as the plot goes, King Kong, vibin'. He's just chillin', living his life. Turns out they built him a little dome. Um, he's living, uh in the United States in a dome that they've made to look like Skull Island, but he's too smart for that. He knows it's not real. Um, they're trying to keep him there because if he escapes, Godzilla will sense him and come and fight him because there can only be one alpha animal at a time, or monster, whatever you want to call it. So, you know, they're trying to keep him safe. Meanwhile, some technology company, the bad guys, are trying to find uh, what makes Godzilla have radioactive breath thing. Um, they're spending a lot of money to try and go find that. Uh, so they find Alexander Skarsgård and they're like, look, we read your book called The Hollow Earth. And your theory is that these monsters came from under the earth, the middle of the earth. There's a, you know, like a portal to another world. That's where they came from. We want you to go down there. They don't really tell them why. They just want them to go check it out. They're like, we have the technology to get you down there. So go do it and he was like cool and then he goes to find rebecca hall who i love so much very underrated y'all need to watch the movie christine if you haven't already rebecca hall's a god uh he goes to find rebecca hall an old friend of his and is like yo can we bring king kong um to help us into the hollow earth and she's like i i guess because godzilla is not going to stop trying to kill kong so he can be the ultimate alpha and so they go to the hollow earth they find out some shit um, and then there's a big battle. I'm not really gonna give a lot of spoilers, though. It's been a few weeks since this is out. I'm sure you know the big bad that they team up to fight together. Uh, but let me just say, this was a very fun movie. I love the fact that it was under two hours. It doesn't need to be longer than that. I respect the Adam Wingrave, the director, greatly for that. Um, it's just monsters fighting. What's great about this one is compared to the other monster movies leading up to this. Uh, we don't waste time. Five minutes in, you see a monster. You see Kong. So, like, we don't have to sit there and wait and be like, oh, when is the monster going to show up? 40 minutes in? No. It's immediate. It's immediate. The first fight is when the, is in the first 45 minutes. It's great. Um, I would like more of these monster movies. Please. I'm tired of the Avengers. I don't care about superhero movies necessarily. So, more monster fighting movies. Hollywood. Go, go off. Give me more of them. But anyway, King Kong all the way. Um, he's a great, great big, big monkey. He just wants to live. He wants to go chill. He doesn't care about fighting Godzilla, honestly. Godzilla's just here to fuck shit up for no fucking reason, because I guess he's bored. So, you know, other, overall, it's a great movie. Uh, very, very fun. There's no plot because there doesn't need to be. It's literally just all about monsters fighting monsters. Which is honestly all we need in this time. So, Godzilla vs. Kong is a great movie. Go check it out. It's on HBO Max. It's in theaters. Don't expect anything other than monsters fighting. I give it a 3.5 out of 5. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought it was super fun. The runtime is very reasonable. Um, yeah, honestly, it's great. So, go check out Godzilla vs. Kong. I hope you liked this review. Um... I don't know what I'm going to review next. Probably Zack Snyder's cut of the Justice League. I don't know when I'm going to watch that, but hopefully soon. So if you'd like to see anything that uh, 
for me to review ha hazardly and not well, comment down below um, the title of anything if I haven't already done it. Yeah, let me know what y'all think. Uh, let me know what you want to see. Is there any movies coming out that you want me to review? Like, I, I, I don't know what's coming out. Not really. So let me know in the comments below. And uh, I guess I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching. See ya.